Steve Clifford really helped me to get to where I am today because I feel like if I didn't work for him, I wouldn't understand what it is to be a coach or how to become a coach. Working for him helped me get my foot in the door in the NBA. And he just taught me how to just be a professional, work hard, you know, he used the saying, and I believe he got this from Coach Van Gundy, be, you know, high work and low maintenance as an assistant. That's like one of the big keys that he felt would help you propel your career. Michael Longobardi, assistant basketball coach for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, in a section of Bay Ridge. When I was a kid growing up, the, I knew I wanted to do something involved with, with basketball because I was going to camps and I just saw like other people there working and, and realizing like they actually can make an income from it. I didn't know how much they made, but it was just cool that they could be coaching or be an administrator or organizer and still be involved with the game. And that was something that I really had my mindset on. Started coaching right after I graduated at uh, Pfeiffer University, a small school in North Carolina, then going to work at Adelphi University in Long Island. And Steve Clifford, who's now the head coach of the Orlando Magic, was my boss. And he and Coach Van Gundy had a relationship from working camps. During that time, in those summers, I got connected with his dad and we were taking like college players to overseas to play games against their like international players. But I had come back from a trip and he had been named coach of the Rockets and then I got a phone call uh, from Steve Clifford saying they had an entry level position. Next thing you know, I'm working for the Houston Rockets. I spent four years working under Jeff. After that happened, our tenure was up there. I got to hook on with Doc Rivers and go to the Boston Celtics. And then I stayed in Boston for six years and was promoted within. And then from there, going to the Phoenix Suns for two and a half seasons. And it was kind of like a rebuilding situation. I got unfortunately fired at the time, but then got picked up and went to Cleveland. We won the championship in 2016 and that's where I am today. When I'm not on the court, uh, I'm spending time with my wife and my two girls. As most coaches know, uh, our time is very limited. And I have a daughter, Olivia, who's 11, and uh, a second daughter, Francesca, who's eight. So anytime I get to spend with them and my wife, Andreana, I definitely want to take advantage of. Olivia is very sincere and, and more serious. And Francesca is like more of a free spirit. So it's great each, for me, it's a challenge, especially for my wife, it's a challenge. But when you come home and you see them, maybe after a long road trip, like them developing into the people uh, that they are, it, it's fascinating. We actually met here in Las Vegas, believe it or not. We were on vacation um, for Memorial Day weekend 20 years ago. I was with some of my friends that I grew up with and she was with some of her friends because uh, we both grew up in New York and we were vacationing here and we met in Vegas and then the rest is history. To make it to the highest ranks, you have to somehow, some way, find that next person that can get you to that next level. For me, it was Steve Clifford. I started working for him. I knew he was gonna be a superstar and his career was gonna propel. And then when you surround yourself or align yourself with those type of coaches, then that can help boost your career.